guys it's me Carrie and I'm back with one more video for you guys today after that last marathon incredible extraordinarily generous unboxing of goodies from my amazing friend Billy I am saving the rest of the goodness of unboxing blind boxes and blind bags and my other ginormous friend mail that I got from her for another day except for this little unbagging that I want to do now I got 10 Shopkins World Vacation Season 8 Boarding to Europe blind bags. I'm so excited for them. And yes, I know I'm rocking my little Lilo clip differently now. I got this um, among the many, many other things in my friend mail from Billy. And I don't know, I'm just trying different looks with it because I absolutely love it so much. I feel like Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. So I'm in love with this hibiscus. I'm just going to rock it whatever way I feel like it. But anyway, I have no patience. And even though I just opened a ginormous friend mail, I want to open these Shopkins as well. So I got 10 of these from Billy because she's incredibly generous. Again, this is season eight boarding to Europe. And these are individual packs. And I think these actually all come with checklists, which is really actually kind of rad because normally when you get the single ones, I don't think they come with checklists. And I have a checklist for this season upstairs, but of course I didn't think to bring it down with me because that would have actually been intelligent. So what I'm going to do is just open these and use one of the checklists out of here, and then I'll transfer it to my mash list when I go upstairs. Okay, what's cool about these two is that these are not actually blind bags once you get past the initial bag. It's just in a clear bag, so you can see who you got right away. But this one looks like an adorable little moped or Vespa. I haven't purchased any Shopkins in a little bit, so I'm not completely sure of who I have at this point. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I may have one of these. I don't remember if I have in this color, but this one I'm almost certain is from the Italian tour. Let me show you guys the checklist too. I really like how the checklist is this season. It is world vacation and they come with different like country themes. You can get UK holiday, French adventure. I'm trying to read it backwards. Then you've got Italian tour, German jet set, Spanish Stopover, Limited Edition Shimmering Snow Globes, and the Special Edition Bag Charms. And let me give you a look at those. You can pause if you want to try to get a better look at them. Obviously, I showed you the other side a lot quicker, I think, so there's another look at that side. But anyway, this one I'm pretty sure is Italian Tour. And... Yes, this is Maria Moped. And the rarities in these are, let's see, white is common, green is rare, pink is ultra rare, blue is special edition, and purple is limited edition. And she is in the, like I said, in the Italian tour, and she is a rare. Cool, cool, cool. So, I, like I said, for now, I will just mark this checklist. If any of my friends that collect Shopkins have season eight and don't have a checklist by any chance. Um, I'd be happy to slip one in the mail to you in a friend mail card because um, I'm going to have lots of extra lists now. I don't generally keep them, but occasionally, you know, I'll have a friend that goes, you know, darn, I really, you know, I messed up my list. I screwed up something on it or I threw it out or whatever and needs one. So I'll hang on to a couple. So if anybody does need one, just let me know. And like I said, I can just, you know, throw it in a friend mail card for you. Okay, this one is another Italian tour, and this one is Carlo Coffee Pot, and he's so cute. Let me get him out of his bag so you can get a good look. Did I give you a good look at Maria Moped? I didn't give you a good look, really. She's super adorable. I love her. Sorry if you just heard TV go up in the background. My mom, I guess, is watching TV or whatever. Um, but this is Carlo Coffee Pot, and again, he is a rare, and he's super, super, super cute. I really like him a lot, and he's adorable. Okay, let me check him off. Hold on just a second. Okay, we're back. All right, let's see who we got for number three. Doo, doo, doo. These are so fun. Ooh, this is a cake of some kind. Ooh, this is... Wait a minute. Okay, I thought I felt something in there besides the checklist. It felt heavy. I don't know why this checklist feels heavier for some reason. This one is Blake Forest Cake, and he is from German Jet Set. He is a common, but I don't think he looks familiar, actually. 
I'm probably wrong, but he's got just like one little slice taken out of him, which I think is so adorable. I know these probably aren't focusing while well, I apologize, but that is Blake Farce Cake. He is a common and he's super, super cute. He also comes in a pink version with a green, um, green like filling, like the cake filling. Okay, let's see, this is so fun. I love doing unbaggings. I haven't done like a, a big unbagging in a long time, so this is super, super fun for me. Okay, let's see who's next. Ooh, this is another pastry foodie type one, and this does not look familiar at all, so I don't even know what country this one's from, let's see. This one I definitely think is new. Oh, it's cute. It's some kind of little, like, cupcake or something, I think. It's got, like, I don't know if that's a cake or if that's going to end up being, like, a quiche or something. Like, I'm, I could totally be wrong. Let me get a look and see if I can find that one. That is... Oh, that's Yvonne Scone from the UK Holiday. Okay, so it is a pastry. Okay, and she is a common, but I like her a lot, especially because she's got blue on her. So pretty. And I love that these have holes in the bottom. Season 7 gave me such agita because none of them had holes. Even the coffee pot has a hole. Nor like in past seasons, in like Chef Club season, I guarantee you this probably wouldn't have had a hole. It would have had one of those little scannable barcode things. And I don't find those useful. That is my least favorite season for that very reason. Just because you can't put them on the peg hooks and the display cases that they make for Shopkins. This one doesn't have a hole in it, but occasionally they won't. But for the most part, the ones in this season do. And that makes me very happy. It's a little pet peeve of mine. I hope Shopkins doesn't, I don't get what the little codes were for. I mean, unless it's like a kid's game or something that you could play online. My friend Jen told me, and I can't remember what she said they were for. I don't have a barcode scanner, so it's like, it was useless to me and it just made them annoying because none of them could go in my case. So I'm glad we're not doing that anymore with this season. Okay, let's see. This one is, oh my gosh, I know I don't have this one. This one is a painter's palette. This has got to be France. This is, this is Pauline Palette. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's got like the little, if you can kind of tell, you might not be able to tell, she's holding like a tube of paint that's squirting a little bit of paint because she's squeezing it, holding it in her hand. And then obviously there's little dabs of paint on the palette and her brush and she's so sweet. I love her. She looks a little bit like a, like a Pac-Man on the back except with an eye. Um, and being pink, obviously, and not yellow, but she is a common, but I really, really like her a lot. She's very sweet, and her variation is like a white one that's kind of like that gradient light pink towards the top. Okay, and I didn't tell you what the other variants are. Let's see. Um, 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 Carlo Coffee Pot also comes in green with a pink handle, it looks like. Maria Moped comes in green with white tires and um pink uh handles like pink what are those handle bars i guess they like handle bars so it's like the colors are opposite and then um okay and then i told you the other two okay so let's see who's next this is so fun i'm very happy when i'm unboxing and unbagging toys it's just i don't know i'm such a kid 44 going on like six i think all right, life is just stressful, especially today's been a nightmare day globally. I don't even want to get into it because I, I'll get myself depressed and I want to be in a happy place right now. But the world is hard. The world is really, really difficult. It's nice to be able to escape into childhood in a happy place for even just a few minutes. I know I don't have this one either. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is another German one and this is called Taki Cuckoo Clock. Oh my gosh, it's precious. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's holding a little green, evergreen tree in its hand. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love. That is a common and it's so adorable. And the variants for that one is, hmm. Okay, there it is. I was going to say, I didn't think I saw one. That one, it's a pink, like main body of the clock. And then the roof is purple in the variant. Okay. So we've got six down. Yes, okay, I was going to say four to go. I saw a bag on the wrong side there. Okay, trying not to get trash all over my floor. My cats will be playing in it. 
Oh, P.S. If you watched my last video of the ginormous unboxing, my cat Shamrock has already moved into the box and he's thrilled to death. We moved some of his toys in there that he had in his smaller cardboard box and tissue paper. He loves tissue paper. He loves to tear it up. He's very happy with that. So I knew that would be a gift to him too. Okay, this one I might have, but I don't remember if I have this color. But this one is the Eiffel Tower cake and it is absolutely beautiful. It's got the silver tower and the pink cake with the white frosting and like the purple layer in the middle there. It's gorgeous. And this one is actually called Ella Tower Cake. And there's another variant where the cake is also pink, purple, and white. Oh, wait, no, that, okay, that looked like it had gold on top. Sorry, that's the one I have. Okay, that's with silver on top. The other one is white with a gold Eiffel Tower from what I can see in this picture. And then the top layer, it's like white at the bottom. And then this purple stripe would be gold. And then the white part here would be black. And then the tower is gold instead of silver from the best I can tell from this picture. Okay, so that is seven down, but there's still three to go. Yeah, I'm juvenile. And I did say that was a common. Yes, I think I did, that's a common. Okay, well, I wonder if we're going to get any ultra rare special editions or limited. Limited, that will never happen. I've never gotten a limited edition ever, but it would be super cool if I did. Okay, this one I think I might have too, but I don't think I have in this color. This one is the little gondola from Italy. And, oops, hold on. Ugh, cat chewing obstacle. We don't want that chewing obstruction, I should say. This is Lola Gondola. And she is from the Italian tour, and she is a common. There she is. Kind of decent view, hopefully. And she also comes in the variant that is a pink gondola with green accents here, and the seats are yellow. All right, two more to go. It goes so fast. I know I should just slow down a little bit, but I just get so excited. No dupes yet out of these 10, like of each other. So of course, because I said that now I'll get one, but nope, not yet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, and this looks like a new one too. Oh, it's blue. This looks like a loaf of French bread. Ooh, getting a lot of France in this set. Seems to be the theme today. Billy gave me a whole collection of Parisian themed scrapbooking stuff in my friend mail in the video prior to this one. And then I was also watching a movie in which France Paris specifically played a significant role. But yes, this is Babette Baguette, and she is super, super adorable. I love her, and she is a common as well. But yeah, out of these nine that I've opened so far, one, two, three, a third of them have been from France. And then we, oh, her variant, by the way, is, let's see, silver bag, yellow bread once again, and the little ribbon is green, like a tealy blue green instead of pink. There's a better look at her. I keep forgetting to show them up close. Um, but yeah, th three have been French, one UK. Um, oh, actually three also Italian, two German. Nothing yet from Spanish stopover because those are glitter finishes. So those are all ultra rares. And then the bag charms are the special editions and the limited edition shimmering snow globes. I'll never see one probably in life or on camera. I've not seen somebody open one yet. I've never seen anybody open a limited edition. I'll have to just look for that specifically, like YouTube, you know, limited edition Shopkins openings and see if anybody's ever gotten one and shot a video of it. I've certainly never gotten one. Okay, last but not least, let's see, let's see. Ooh! I think this one is UK. I think, I think, I think, I think. Let's see. I may be mistaken about that. Nope, I am absolutely mistaken about that. This one is also French. See, I knew French was going to be most predominant. Four out of, of ten are French, but this one is Fluffy Souffle. Can you even? Oh my gosh, I wish I could get this to focus. Will it focus? He's got a little mustache, you guys. I don't think it will focus, but... Trust me that he's got a little mustache and he's absolutely adorable. Actually, yeah, he does. Yeah, he's got a little mustache. I love him. I love him. I love him. And his variant is yellow on the bottom, pink on the top, a silver little dish, and um, just white on top like this one. But really, really, really cute. So overall, 
in the 10. We got four from France, one from the UK, three from Italy, and two from Germany. No special editions, no Spanish stopovers, and no limited editions, but that is quite all right because I am super, super, super happy with these 10 that I got. Let me show you again, just a quick glimpse of everybody in no particular order, just the order I'm grabbing them in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. And I absolutely love these. These are so, 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 so cute. And I have more stuff to unbag, and I'm going to really try to wait till tomorrow. I don't know. I might have to shoot one more after this because I have no patience and no willpower. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this, you guys. Again, if you are someone that I've done friend mail with or friend swaps or whatever, and you're in need of a season eight checklist, just let me know and I can drop one in the mail to you next time we swap or just like, you know, any old time. I could just put it in a little card or a letter to you. But anyway, um, US only though, please. I apologize, but postage is outrageous, cuckoo crazy for international. And I just, you know, I can, I can afford a card and a stamp. I can't do international, unfortunately. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love you all so much, especially you, Billy, for giving me these fun goodies to open. And I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.